Do you notice anything strange about these motherboards that I'm about to show you? Take a look at this. How about this? This is actually going to be very exciting. And I can't wait for it because this is something that is finally a big change similar to NVMe when it comes to storage. But now we have Cam 2. So you're probably thinking, what exactly is Cam 2 and why is it so great? It is not only going to change the way desktops are, most importantly going to change the way laptops are. If you're familiar with MSI's Project Zero, as you know, they removed the pins in the front of the motherboard and they put everything towards the back of it. So that's probably the first thing you've noticed, but you probably noticed on the left side of the CPU, there isn't really any type of RAM slots. There's no DDR5 slots in there. In fact, that is what Cam 2 is. It's memory. It's taking place of the old module. We can finally say goodbye to DIMM because it's been pretty annoying. Why is Cam 2 going to be so much better than DIMM? Cam 2 is short for Compression Attached Memory Module. Originally, Cam was engineered by the fine people over at Dell. It wasn't just quite perfect yet, hence the name Cam 2. There has been some quite changes over it, not only to improve the power efficiency, but the speed most importantly. DDR5 Cam 2 is more of a revolution than anything when it comes to notebooks, laptops, ultrabooks, you name it, because it's going to take up less space and it's going to be a lot more quicker for the communication to the CPU and the motherboard. Reason why? It doesn't require as many modules because everything is compressed into one. And the best part is you don't have to worry about it being soldered into the motherboard. Originally, when it comes to DIMM, there is four slots, such as, say, a desktop. Same thing goes with the laptop. In order for that to work correctly, you want to be able to run on dual channel or quad channel. It takes a lot more time for it to travel to the CPU in order for it to communicate, but it does affect power efficiency and speed. Cam 2 will take place of that, instead will be much more quicker because it's going to be much closer to the CPU. The speeds will be much more improved because one of those modules are actually in dual channel mode. Now LPDDR5 or 5X Cam 2 notebooks are going to be in certain server market segments. Originally, JDEC had released a footnote back in December of 2023. They have announced that Cam 2 is stackable. Now, Cam 2 connectors, each connector can elevate the Cam 2 to different levels. The first connector has supports 1 DDR5 at 2.85 millimeters of height, which is really small. Now, if you were to stack it, it can go up to 7.5 millimeters height. The entire Cam 2 connection can be used with dual channel. On top of it, the scalability from the single channel to dual channel configuration can lead to more multi-channel setups. But more than likely, we're not going to see any type of dual channel setups and instead we will just see one module because that is going to be sufficient enough, especially when it comes to laptops and desktops. MSI has been working with memory leaders such as Kingston. ASUS has also been working with Kingston and G-Skill alike. So they've both been working with these memory manufacturers in order to get Cam 2 on the go. Now currently it's not on any AMD motherboards. That was my mistake on this 870E video, but of course it can be coming to the future. Right now they were focused on having it produced on Z790 boards and also Z890 boards for now. The best part is it's going to take one less step when you are building your PC. In order for you to install the memory onto your motherboard, it will require you to have some tools compared to just installing it into the slot where it was just clickable. That is just one of the negative things about having Cam 2, but it will save you much more space. There will be two types of Cam 2. There will be the standard DDR5 and the low powered DDR5, which is LP DDR5. If you're curious about LP Cam 2, if it's upgradable, yes, it can be. It's very similar to how 
NVMe is installed. In fact, it just requires a couple screws to install it to the motherboard. And the same goes for the laptops. Now, Micron claims that LPDDR5X is available up to 16 to 64 gigabytes. It can also take less space than DIMM, which uses about 61% less power because again, it travels much more closer to the CPU, which requires less power. And it is up to 71% faster in PC Mark 10 benchmarks. Micron also says that LP Cam 2 was, would also hit up to 74, 67 mega transfers per second, which is really quick. It provides about 34% greater bandwidth compared to something like DDR5 at 5600 mega transfers per second. Currently, Cam 2 supports up to 128 bit connection to the CPU. G Skull also had a demo out which demonstrated the power of Cam 2 7800 megahertz Cam 2, up to 48 gigabytes in capacity. The single module is also up to XMP 3.0 standards and it had a timing of 38 48 48 128 with a voltage rating of 1.45 volts now you might be thinking that's not really that big of a deal but it really is because cam 2 is still in the early phases now if you notice on the photo that there is no heatsink on any of these modules but you can notice that custom fan that g school put on there so it makes you question exactly how hot will cam 2 really get now because it is taking less power it's technically shouldn't be building up or generate as much heat such as ddr5 where it requires heat sinks now msi had interestingly enough created a cooling solution a liquid cooling solution for cam 2 memory now i know it looks a little bit funky and again it is still in the very much in the early phases most importantly, when it comes to Cam 2, especially when it comes to laptops, say, for example, the M3 Air, we all know that it just uses a basic M3 processor, a basic M3 chip. We know they use a unified memory, which this would be a really good point for something like Cam 2 to really put be put in place because now it is also upgradable. Hopefully Apple goes towards that direction but as we know, it wouldn't make sense for something like the M3 Pro Max because, again, it's kind of hard compared to 512-bit bus because then you're going to have to stack up to four Cam 2 modules. And you might be asking already, isn't RAM already fast enough? Isn't DIMM just good enough as it is? Well, I mean, it's been around for 25 years and it definitely works. It's still around and even into DDR5 as we speak. And this is more of a revolution when it comes to laptops. Reason being is because now it can communicate much more quicker to the CPU without requiring four separate modules or four separate slots in order to communicate to the CPU, which requires less power. It will also help increase the speed because there is less of a delay. In fact, Lenovo ThinkPad P1 already is one of the first early adapters when it comes to cam 2 it's much more easier to access and it's easy to upgrade the only downfall when it comes to cam 2 is it's expensive just like any new technology out there as you remember how expensive ddr5 was when it was first released and on top of it it was hard to get your hands on it it's more than likely going to be the same when it comes to Cam 2. We can finally say deuces to small outline inline memory because it was annoying. And it is about time we finally had a change. Bam Bam, guys, what are your thoughts about Cam 2? Are you excited for it just as much as I am? I, I do got to say I will miss them RGBs on the RAM. We won't have any of those fancy designs, but then again, who knows? They might come out some with some really cool designs and there's going to be more variations when it comes to cooling the motherboard much more efficiently as well. Fam Bam, guys, what are your thoughts about Cam 2? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You know, anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. If you're not part of the big, wonderful Fam Bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. 
And don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you're not following my X handle right here, make sure you do because I post all the newest updates on there as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Make sure you stick around for the next video if you want to see it because I got this controller from Kickstarter that I want to share with you guys. You got to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.